All right, so so the Detroit adventure to Manapools begins. <laughs> I'm used to going on my own, but this time it's definitely not the case. We have four of us, lots of bags in that boot. Everyone's quite excited. Jack, Jack yeah. Lele, where are you going? This is Zimbabwe and Manapools. So, bags are checked in. That was the story. Now we're on our way to Manapools. We've got to go through uh, security and food. I'm hungry and tired. <laughs> And so it begins our exciting Detroit family safari. Boarding in five or ten minutes and uh, excited, you know, like I think it's often a question, kids on safari, what is it like? Is it dangerous? Is it possible? Hopefully in this video you'll be able to see exactly what you can do and can't do and you know, it's definitely worth the experience. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. You ready? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking forever. Yeah, it's taking forever. Alright, so we've just arrived in uh, Rari, to, uh, went through customs and everything else we had to do. Pretty quick and easy, we had a guy, guy uh, helping us all the way through as a family, which was really helpful. Such a nice new addition. HAC, they've got a lounge here, which is really cool. Like a welcome desk over here, and there's coffee and drinks and just a bit of relaxation, which is fantastic. And as you wait for your flight, usually you'll wait in the back there, which is not bad, but it's so nice to see this new addition before flying out to Manipal. So yeah, really cool experience and well done. Relay, are you excited? Yes. Where are we going? Jack, where's your shoes? Right, we're about to get on plane number two for the day. It's a caravan, I think 13 seater, I think. All right, update. It's not a caravan, it's a Cessna 206, the Bomber Comet. <laughs> They'll never forget this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the flight to Manapools from Arari takes just over an hour and is an adventure in itself. You'll enjoy a scenic view of Mana from the air before landing. Alright, just arrived. A bit green at the gills, but uh, it's all good. Life in. Yes, it's in the... <laughs> It's in the bag, it's coming. I have it, I didn't forget it. There's the missus. <laughs> yeah, bag's being loaded. It's great to be back in Mana. So excited, can't wait to show the family what this place is all about. Are you excited? I have been in the game drive. Yeah, are you excited? Yes, but I haven't been in the bathroom. Like a tea. Look at that, you got scared. When was this elephant food alive? Yeah. Show me, open it. Oh, with your bush shoes, man. Yeah. You're like a baboon digging through elephant dung. camp we were met by many friendly faces happy to see and welcome us with traditional song and dance much to the surprise of the kids it does put a smile on your face and allows everyone to feel at home Hi, how are you? I'm fine, I'm enjoying. Good, thanks. So nice to be here. Oh, it's amazing. Thank, Thank you so much. Wow, Jack, you want to go look? Look at the earliest. We arrived at camp during the early evening. We got a tour of camp from Taffy and soon settled down for an induction where we learned more about camp itself. We got a tour of the upstairs section where you can enjoy a beautiful view of mana pools and the floodplain. There's even a full-time nurse on site to ensure everyone is well taken care of. 
He took some time to explain all of the protocols to us. We got a good night's rest and woke up to a stunning mana pool sunrise. To make the most of the mana experience, you have to be up and about at first light. It's magnificent. That's Jack. There's another button. Look for lions, this Jack. This is small clouds. Yes. Are we going to look for lions, Jack? <gasps> What's this? A wheel. Oh, a wheel. Is that a wheel? Yeah, that's a wheel. The early bird catches the worm, or so they say. Animals are most active during the early, cooler hours of the morning, and it's a fantastic time to be out and about. Everybody is excited and expectations are always high for the day ahead. I find mana pools to be unlike any other destination. The need to constantly rush around in search of the next leopard or lion is non-existent. Instead, you find yourself completely immersed within the moment, in total awe of the beauty of the enchanted mana forest. Wherever your eyes fall, there seems to be life. The mornings are stunningly beautiful. There's so much for the family to enjoy. Oh, what is that? Ooh, Rula, it's a fish eagle. Are you here? Yeah. A little fish eagle. What, what was my... Listen, what listen, listen, listen. Shh, shh, listen. I see the baby shark there. Jack, where did the hippo go? Uh, it's gone. Where? Where? Where do the hippo gone? They go in the water. They go in the water. Uh oh, here we go through water. <gasps> no, Be see careful. It. So, how do you keep kids busy on the back of a safari vehicle? Make sure you have with you the things that they enjoy most. It goes a long way to get them each a camera, a binocular, and other items relevant to the safari experience. He's gonna walk up that turmoil mound. Look, look. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Switch off. Close encounters with Manus wildlife is the norm. It could be in a vehicle or as is custom in Mana, even on foot. The 
remember that these animals see vehicles and humans on a regular basis and therefore have grown used to the sights and associated smells. There is no reason for concern as you are in the company of experienced guides who understand these animals intimately. Is that for mine? It is it's mine. Is that mine? It's that not mine. This is not yours. A favorite time is the break for coffee, snacks and a stretch of the legs. Your guide will brew up a cup of coffee and get some snacks ready. All whilst you and the family take in the scenery around you. The vistas and views in Mana are stunning and this is the time the kids enjoy most. It's this freedom that's so refreshing for a family experience, especially for the kids. How small! What's that, Jack? Jack, what footprint is that? Bye. The, the thorn. Mm. Take it out. Imagine bringing your kids out of the city and onto the banks of the mighty Zambezi, exchanging the play sand at school for the sandy embankments where hippos like to sleep. I saw that. Instead of climbing jungle gyms, they now get to explore the top of termite mounds. With hands and feet in the soil of Africa, your kids are enriched with an experience not available anywhere else. The Game Viewer presents a whole new playground for the kids. But they are more rounded. After the coffee break, the experience carries on. You don't find there is much to so see much. and learn. The cats, they take their claws inside. Look how big it is, Renee. Why does that one have a color? Okay. Daddy. So we managed to find Boswell, which uh, is probably one of the top three most famous elephants in Africa. Uh, we came out looking for him and we managed to find him. And uh, who did you see? Boswell. He has a lot of elephants that tend to follow him because he breaks such big branches. Uh, they come and feed on the leftovers. He doesn't feed on everything and, and uh, leave some food for them. So he's very popular and he has a lot of elephants, sometimes 10 or 15 that just kind of mingle around with them. Uh, we don't walk as often as we would normally because we have kids with us and there's age limits and for safety reasons. So we're just trying to stick onto the roads and hopefully he comes and gives us a show. Boswell is one of Africa's greatest elephant bulls. And aside from his magnificent tusks, he has a special trick up his sleeve. He can stand on his hind legs. Visitors from all over the world flock to Manapools just to see this special elephant. After more than an hour with him, he finally put on a grand show for all of us. He enjoyed a mud bath and then walked over to a nearby tree. One, two, kick. That's the boy. 
three. What a remarkable feat. Okay. A behavior learned three. over time and now even copied by other fellow mana bulls. This is a sight you and the family will never forget. What did you see now? Yeah. What did that elephant do, Delay? Yes. What did he do? Stand on the back legs. Wow, really? Buzzword. Do you like that elephant? Is he the king of mana pools? Yes. How was that? Yo, that was crazy. <laughs> Jack, how was that? Yo. Jack missed everything. After the morning safari, it's time to return to our wonderful camp on the floodplain of the Zambezi River. Our room here at Nyamatisi Mahogany always seems to attract elephants. Certainly a very welcome sight. The kids love getting back to camp. A real home away from home. After dropping our stuff in the room, it's time to head to the main lodge to catch up with Taffy and the team. There's also a delicious lunch that awaits the family. Careful, Jack. Careful, Jack. <laughs> Even back at the main lodge, there's so much to keep the kids active and engaged. The menu is beautifully presented, along with more bits of useful information. Each day lunch catered to our needs as a family with young kids. It was some of the best food we've ever Jack? enjoyed. What is that? Finished. Almost finished. Pizza day was an absolute highlight. Off to the side of the main camp is a special hut where everyone's invited to build their own pizza. The kids loved this experience especially seeing Taffy all dressed up for the occasion. And some milk. And elephants. Baby <laughs> 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 okay. chef. Look at pizza. pizza. Bye. <laughs> See, there's in the fire, look there. From pizza day to the normal menu, the food here was incredible and something we looked forward to every single day. Um, let's go have ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream. Let's go for it. Ice cream. Ice cream. There, go sit down. <clears throat> Thank you. There's always a bit of a lull between lunch and afternoon game drive. The tummies are full, and whether you head to the room for a siesta, enjoy a swim, explore more around the camp itself. It's entirely up to you and the family. So, all of the end. Dad, Taffy. We're going to go on game drive, Jack. Come, go in the vehicle. Taffy will put you in. <laughs> Another vehicle. Looking for you. By Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you Jack, ready? Come, come sit by Sissy. Yes, I'm ready. Come sit by Sissy. Is everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs>
these ones, the spike like, they are the incisors or incisors, our front teeth. So these ones were in here. What is this for the hippo? That's a drip, so that will be caving inside. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's gonna pick something. You want to pick this one? Yes. Let's check. Opening up the hippo. Yeah. He's now yeah. analyzing everything. These are broken ribs. Oh, okay. oh my word, look where you are, it's amazing! Make, make like a dinosaur, Jack! <laughs> this is what I love most about mana pools. Touch, explore, experience. You're not bound to a vehicle. You can interact with the natural world around you like never before. It creates another dimension entirely. It allows for an immersive, engaging experience. Sausage tree. That will awaken all your senses. You know that. It's from a sausage tree. The second safari activity for the day always holds something promising in store. Many of the day active animals go about their last bits of business for the day and the predators start to wake for the evening lying ahead. It's a great experience and memorable time to be out on game drive. Thank you, Jack. So good. As yet another day in Africa came to a close, it was time to end with a classic sundowner. Over our time, we enjoyed many stunning sunsets with drinks and snacks in hand. Our children got to take it all in. No doubt their lives completely changed. One sundowner in particular was truly memorable for the kids. Taffy. Hello. How are you? Good, you? Oh, good. Wow. Taffy and the team created a special stop just for the kids on our last afternoon <laughs> with a volleyball court for our daughter Relay, a warming fire, and even a bar for little Jack. Baby, come. Come look. Come look at fire, baby. Hello, 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 hello. Come, come look here. Come look at the big fire. Jack, come look at the fire, quickly. Jack, quickly. <laughs> By the river? Oh. Oh. What's that? Come, come look at Jack's bar. Don't step on my sand castle. Jack, yes, come. Have you been that long here? Go. Look, there's a hippo. Do you see him? He says, hi, Jack. Hi, Ella. 
Jump. Yeah. Yeah. This was the perfect ending to a perfect family safari. With the full moon rising in the background, we enjoyed the time together. So thankful for all that we've experienced here at Nyamatusi Mahogany. We arrived as guests and would leave oh. as family. <laughs> ah. It's your turn. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Last mornings on safari are never easy. Apart from missing the experience on safari itself and all of the animals, you've grown attached to the people who work there the staff. The kids especially form bonds that we don't fully comprehend. But we know we left knowing we would one day return and do so very soon. <laughs> you discover a whole new side to your people on a safari. I watched as my daughter just stared back towards camp. To Taffy and the team. It moved me deeply and I knew this experience meant so much more to her than what we'll ever know. Thank you to the entire African Bush Camps family and to Nyamatusi Mahogany for a life changing experience. And a happy 15th birthday from our family to yours. Happy birthday, Uncle Bex. Jack, say happy birthday. Happy birthday. There will be many moments to cherish, to remember, moments to look back upon many years from now. A safari like this brings people together like few other holidays can. Watch, lovey, lovey.
Okay, one, two, three. Bye. Bye to the car, say bye your vehicle. Did you say bye to Ranger Claude? The daddy. Big one, big high five. Yes. yes. <laughs> you want to walk up the ladder? Thanks, bud. <laughs> Check that duke, lovey. Yeah, it's a pirate. From here to the nose, it's going to take us around the tent. Mana Pools is like a dream. It transports you back to the safari days of a bygone era. It's a reminder that Eden still does exist. And it exists right here in the heart of Africa.